the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 22 wins, two losses, and one draw. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. But Kayush Gamer! Gamer! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai fighter, holding a professional record of 12 wins, two losses. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Rafael Adam Okay, guys, protect yourself at all times. Obey my command at all times. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. Underway, and we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. Oh! oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, straight right. Oh, that jab hurt him. Really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. The left punch is clean, followed by a right. Able to check that kick as well. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? offense from the bottom. All right, working inside the now open guard of his opponent. Uh-oh. Throwing up a triangle. The guy on his back is very good at submissions, and if he's not careful here, he's going to get stuck, and he will have to submit. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Less than a minute to go in the round. And he landed the right hand there. Solid strike on the ground. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. Got it, though. It does feel good. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Left hand punch with the clinch. And they separate. Punches block. Single follow tie now. Second round, straight ahead. So there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene.
how to go in rounds. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, a single collar tie there. Superman punch now. Nice sprawl there as he stuffs another takedown. So that was a big priority coming in, and the takedown defense has absolutely held up to him. Yeah, he's done a fantastic job of understanding the threat of the takedown. He's recognized it, he's defended it before it's even gotten started. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Right hand punch from the clinch. Under two minutes now to go in round two. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming, and when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, down and get a bloody shot. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Again, going back to the jab, just out of range. Oh, big elbow. Oh, oh, this fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He did stay the court. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent got him going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Good stick. That is a buddy leg kick. Try to establish that jab. And the horn sounds on round two. Take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kicks, leg kicks, body kicks. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. He's got to whip his hips into that kick. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And now he's got that tight clinch. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Big call for punch land. Now we get back to range. Nice one-two combination there. Big leg kick land. Oh, that'll ring your bell. Head kick. Big elbow there, Lance. Oh, straight right. And back to his feet. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. 
Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Oh, collar tie. Oh, nice. Nice. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range, he'll suddenly he'll change his stance. Beautiful strike. Blocks the shot. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. in a single collar tie. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take their turn. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. takedown attempt. Two minutes remain in the round. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Ooh, what a punch. First man down. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, straight right. Big knee to the body! Can't take many of those, you better check. Oh, nice. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> oh, roundhouse kick, DC. That was a beautiful strike, and that is the most powerful kick that you can land in a fight. All right, he engages oh, in the same side. On the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. What a punch. All right, so again, we find ourselves here in the clinch where there are obviously no shortage of subtleties and nuances. A lot of motions in here that... Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. guard here, DC, what does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities 
for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig it under. Now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the map. Look from the transition to an off. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so a big knockdown for him courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he does have the ability to damage him. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Oh, straight right. Oh, dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Trying to stay in this fight. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality? When you know you need a finisher, you're getting an L. You gotta go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You gotta throw everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not. Two minutes now to go in the fight. to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. All right, we go back inside the octagon to the veteran voice once more. He is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine's called a stop to this contest at one minute, 29 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Rafael Alamazia! And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight. I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.